What's up everyone? Welcome to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 tricks and tips to know whether your loved one has interest in you or not. Alright, step 1. If they're playing the chess game with you, and because I've done it before, so I know when they're playing so I know when they're playing that chess game. For example, say you ask the girl that you love a certain question and she's dodging it. That basically means she's playing chess with you. She's giving you mixed signals about how she truly feels towards you. Now, don't take it to offense. It has nothing to do with it. If she finds you sweet, cute, and charming, just give her time. All you gotta do really is just give her time, let her get a hold of her feelings and get the pieces together, and that's it. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, if they're dodging questions about certain things that you have asked them, it's not because they don't like you, it's because they're just getting mixed feelings and they don't want to say the wrong thing to hurt you in any way, so instead of telling you straight on what it is, they'll change the subject. So, my advice to the guys out there that are talking to a girl that they like, play the chess game with them. So, instead of getting them, you know, mixed up in their feelings, just play the chess game with them and go along with it until they feel comfortable. Step 2. Now, say if your girl wants to go on a date with you, but she wants to bring a friend with you. I bring a friend with you, I mean. But if she wants to bring a friend with her, like I said, again, it's not because she doesn't like you. It's just because certain people are uncomfortable because, you know, they just started dating someone that they're getting used to knowing. So, instead of feeling uncomfortable in the worst way possible, they have a friend with them, so that way they'll feel more comfortable to go on the date with you rather than set you up on that date. Understand what I'm saying? Now, step three. If she's dodging questions and not telling you straight up how she really feels, don't, don't push the questions any further. Just let it slide, and eventually, her she will eventually spill the tea and say how she truly feels about you. If you can just be patient with the person that you love, and I guarantee you, she will finally open up to you and say what she has to say. Now, step four. If you're expressing to them how you're truly feeling, and they're just saying, I understand everything you're saying, and I hope you find the one you want. It's not because they're trying to friend zone you in any way. As I was saying before, it's because they have mixed feelings. And the reason why they feel like they said that if I don't work out, I hope you find the right one. It's because already... They're doubting themselves, thinking that, you know, you're not their one in true love. And what I mean by that is not saying that you won't be her true love. I'm just saying she thinks that it probably isn't going to last. She also probably thinks that you're going to replace her. And she's probably even thinking to herself, like, man, I finally got the greatest boyfriend, but who knows, he might not want me at some point. No, that isn't the case at all. But that's, it's not because they're trying to friend zone. It's because they're doubting themselves, just like we all doubt ourselves, including men as well. It's because they're doubting themselves, thinking they won't be the only one that you desire. That's the point. Ugh. That's the point. I, yeah. Hold on, excuse me. That's the point I'm getting at. It's not because they don't like you. It's just because they don't know if they're the one. That's my point. Now, step five. Thing is, 
if she's not always, you know, texting you or replying to your messages, right? Don't take it to the wrong offense that they're texting, you know, another man, teenager, another boy, or whatever. Don't take offense to it, because that isn't the case all the time. The thing is, there's times where our loved ones can be going through rough times, have heartaches, and are probably just very busy to even reply at the moment. But here's my suggestion. Uh, sorry, I can't speak today. Here's my suggestion if you start to feel a certain way after your loved one isn't texting you for if you start to feel you know like itsy bitsy inside just give your loved one a quick text saying hey how are you we haven't talked in so long like is everything all right like is like is there something i should know just say something like that and either She'll still be busy, or she'll reply to you saying, Oh yeah, it's been a very emotional time. I wasn't trying to ignore you or anything. Just a stressful time with my family. That's it. That's all you gotta do. It'll work at least 50% of the time. But like I told you, if they're playing that chess game with you, where they're dodging your questions and won't, you know, and they're telling you, and they're basically expressing to you what you want to hear but not actually expressing themselves basically what i'm trying to say is they're trying to say what you want to hear rather than express themselves how they truly feel about you and like i said all you can really do with that is just play along go smooth about it and continue being the great guy you are to her I hope this video helped you all out. This should at least work 50%. It's not 100%. It's like a 50-50 chance with this. But I hope I helped you guys out. And don't forget to please subscribe, like, and comment. Peace out, everyone. And see you in the next video.